All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne here on Bite Size Beefs. And the last time we left off, we had just come back to acquire quite a few levels, and we were about to head back to the Snake Forest, the Forbidden Woods. We have a bunch of shortcuts to help us get back, but uh, we're going to have to fight a few of those big snake monsters again, most likely. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very looking forward to it, because those things are pretty easy to bop with our whip. And, uh, oh, oh man, lots of blood echoes to be had. Now, I won't be exploring the entire area again. Uh, there's no use for it. We found most of the items. And if you skipped out on me doing all the leveling up and all the rune stuff at the end of the last episode, which I don't blame you for. It's all cool. Uh, yeah, I just put in a couple new runes and leveled up a bunch. And so we should be extra good for what lies ahead. But killing these trash birds because, you know, we've got the vendetta against the trash birds. We, we have to. And uh, we also talked to this fine gentleman who I probably won't be accepting his invitation. Unfortunately, I just, I don't know what other guilds are out there. And I, I'm, I'm just a, just a nosy person. You know, I need to get all the information, all the info on who wants me to join up. Especially when we look so beautiful and white. We are not the lady in red, we are the lady in white. So, we're going to make sure we check our, you know, our backs here. Because there are some of those snake beast guys wandering around. But, uh, I don't think that's a shortcut down. No. But I do believe... Here we go. Is that a snake guy? No. That was just a lantern on the rock. There should be some snake guys around here, though. I know there should be. I know you're here. Where are you? Excuse me, Mr. Snakeman. I would like to, perhaps, have a word with you. Sir. Kind sir. Gentle sir. Where are you with the big headness? Maybe the big snake guys only exist once. The snake headed dudes. And then maybe all we have are these little piles. What do we got here? Bloodstone charts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just wander around the road because we don't have to worry about too much here. So we'll just wander along the path. Eh, I locked onto this. I might as well kill it. I know I said I'd wander along the path and then immediately diverge from the path, but... Oh, well. Oh, here we go. Here we got a guy. Oh, let's see if we can't... Can we visceral him? Oh, hi, buddy. Can we? Oh, no. Just missed. He's going to transform, though, so we're going to get a nice big thrust on him quick and then dodge out and then get back to our whip because he's got the range. He's got whip-like head appendages, and we've got a whip-like whip. That's right. A whip-like whip because that's how we roll up in here. Oh, man, I love this threaded cane. Although we are still a few uh, bloodstone chunks away from getting it to uh, level up. I wish there was like a bloodstone trader, you know, so we could take our bloodstone shards to the bloodstone trader and he'd give us twin bloodstone shards and then we could take those twin bloodstone shards and give him those and then he'd give us bloodstone chunks. That would be great. But of course, hey now, hey now, no spewing the poison. All right, so, oh yes, one of the runes we put on increased our slow poison resistance by quite a lot. So, these things shouldn't be poisoning us nearly at all. So we don't have to even worry about poison. Which is great. It's a great thing. I don't know what kind of blood gemstone that was, but we're going to see if we can't get this thing out. Oh, it's getting burned by the fire. Haha. -ha. Ow. And stabbed. Back up, back up. Oh, it still got us. But see if you look up at the top right now. Our, uh, <laughs> it's burning to death. Yay. And we'll slash it for the last hit. Uh, we have a very, very small amount of slow poison hitting us right now because our resistance is so high. So that's that's really good, right? I don't know if it actually goes down faster as well. I can't confirm. But, hey, at least we're not getting poisoned as quick. I think those two bites before we had all that slow poison resistance would have possibly made us like three quarters poison. Oh, I was just out of range. Ah, no, he got us. He got us. Oh, well, we're still at full blood vials, which is good. And our wide arcing whip will help us clear out all these small little snakes. These sneaky snakes in only a few hits. I love snakes, by the way. Snakes are one of my favorite animals. I love reptiles 
and amphibians. They are great. They're fantastic. There's also this pig up here. Oh, bacon. Oh, baby. Y'all want some bacon for dinner? Because I already had bacon for dinner tonight, baby. Oh, yeah. Mmm, tasty clean. But yes, I actually just had bacon for dinner. I'm recording this after dinner. And, uh, yeah, I had some tasty bacon. It was great. It was good. Eat bacon. <laughs> this episode brought to you by bacon. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. We got this guy up here. Remember, we tried to kite him around a bit. Do we have any Molotovs? Oh, hey, look, a Molotov. Would this perhaps maybe be better at trying to... hi yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess it did a little bit. Do we have any of those oil urns on us? No, just a hand lantern. All right, well, perhaps we can see if we can't get this to... Aha! You have made a mistake! You have gone into a place where you can't spew poison! And we're just going to cheese this. Just going to cheese it. No need to not cheese it. But uh, we will heal up to full. Because, you know, we'll, I'd rather be at full and have room to pick up one blood vial than not be at full. You know, have full blood vials and then not heal. It's just, that's just the way I am. I just like having room to heal. Oh, hey, hello. Hello, little one. Hello. I just wanted to come up here. You spooked me. With your spooky hiding. I was pressing R3 to see if I could get a lock on, but it didn't. And it spooked me. It spooked me ever so hard. So, now, where exactly... Because I don't think we went exactly around this way. Oh, no, maybe we did, because there's dead bodies here that should have loot, but do not. So, perhaps we have already been here. Oh, I am getting, uh... Unfortunately, twanged by these trees that sound like... Whoa! I just did a leapy thing! I don't know how I did the leapy thing. Did I push, like, back forward? Ah, I see. I took some damage to try that out, but it's because I wanted to try it out. If I press back forward and then thrust while I'm locked onto something, I'll, like, leap at it and stab it. That's cool. Now, is this leading to where we were once before? I believe it is. Yes, because there's the pig down here. And that is where all the Water Maidens are. I know we already did all this, but, I mean, hey, look. It, we took, like, 40 minutes to get down to this area. Hello, piggy. Hello, El Pig. What if we what if we just sneak up behind it after it leaves? Yeah. Oh, does it see us? It sees us. It sees us. What are you going to do about it, huh? You can't charge up here. You can't charge up here. That's right. I told you. You can't charge up here. I'm going to whip you. Get whipped. Hopefully, come on. Come on, I'm going to see if I can't cheese this pig. Come on, piggy. Aha! Come on, and... Nope. No visceral. Come on, piggy. Come on, piggy. Wow, you've got a, uh, a long little uh, two-step there. You can walk on your hind legs for a quite little bit. But that's fine. Blood vials, as usual. The pigs like to give us blood vials. Now, we went right last time... So let us explore left, because right had another rune and a drop-down area to, I think, down to here. But this place looks like it's a boss zone, so we're going to go ahead and just tread through here, just being all careful-like, checking for bad guys. Maybe there's some some of those ladies. Ladies in the water. In the water. Ha, ha. Ladies in the water. We don't want any of them, though. There's. Oh, I see. You see that guy? I saw that guy. Yo, what's up, sir? What's up, sir? I heard you like to... Get popped! Oh, no, I didn't do the... I thought I did the uh, lunging thing. This one. Oh, no, I'm not doing it now. All right, maybe I shouldn't do it. I'm getting bopped by him because he's got extra range than I do. But uh, I was trying to do that cool leap thing. It's probably not a good idea to do the leap against those guys anyway because they've got... They've got some snake heads, man, and they take hits. Wait, is this where I came in? Is this where I came in? Did I literally just do a huge loop? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? No, no, this isn't where we came in. This can't be where we came in. Hold on. Hold on. This is dark. Maybe we need a lantern. Oh, this is the one area! Oh, this is a super shortcut. 
Cool. There's a snakehead guy up here as well. Let's see if we can't bop him. Hello, sir. I know you're going to transform into a snakehead thing, so I'm going to get a double... There we go. See, we did it again. I don't know how we did that, but we did. And now I'm going to back up because uh, we don't want... Whoa! He's got the grabby hands. He's got the snake hands. He's got the scorpion from Mortal Kombat. So that's cool. We found another shortcut, which is always appreciated. I like me shortcuts. Everybody likes shortcuts. Who doesn't like shortcuts? Awesome. Fantastic. So we found... Because we did come through here before, and we saw this. But we couldn't operate the device, because it was a shortcut, and they don't want you taking shortcuts, because they're evil and suck like that. So fantastic. We now have this shortcut, which will take us all the way down to this lake bed area. Even though it's not really a lake, it's more like a pond. Not even a pond, really. Just like a big puddle. I don't know, what do you call... Question of the day, if you know, what do you call a small body of water that's kind of like this? It's, it's like a giant puddle. It's not a pond, because it's not really deep enough to be a pond, but it's also not a puddle. So if you know that answer, let me know. I mean, I, mean, I could Google it after I finish this up, but I, 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 like when, I like asking people questions. I like when people ask questions and people give answers. Because, I mean, everybody's in the, in the mindset... So much of just being like, oh man, just Google it. J just Google it. And it's like, well, why don't you know something? Why don't you share knowledge with other human beings? What is this little, what is this little goobity? He's a little goobity. He's a little goobity. Don't touch me, goobity. Don't you, I don't know what you do. Goobity. Either way, so the goobity just distracted us from what I was saying, but I prefer the human interaction of people asking questions and other people having the answers. Because if you always just go to Google... Like, you limit how much human interaction, like, meaningful human interaction you can have from a day. And this guy's gonna get so thrusted. Oh, they, they sh oh, magic. We got magic. All right, but you lo you limit how much, you know, human inter value valuable human interaction you can have in a day. Right? And I'm, I think I'm underestimating these. Er, no, no, magic. I didn't see that one guy was charging up. I have no idea what these things do or how much damage they do. But yeah, I... I firmly do believe that you limit yourself on valuable human interaction when you tell people to just Google it. If you don't know, say you don't know, and then, you know, tell them to Google it. And then both of you can find out together. That's a completely different tree of interaction that you've now done by not just immediately tell people to Google it, like, quickly dismissing them. You know, I just, uh, if people ask me a question and I don't know, I'll just be like, you know what? Let's Google it. And then I'll ask my phone or type it up on my phone and then we'll actually go, and I'll read it out to them so we can both learn. So, yeah, we died to those little goobity goos. But, uh, you know what? That's fine. Because we're learning that they cast magic, and thus respecting their distance is not something we should do. So how do we get the other shortcut? The quicker shortcut? Where would that quicker shortcut be? Huh. Because that quicker shortcut is in that house, which I forget where that house is. Oh, no. And this is the worst part about Dark Souls and Bloodborne, is you have to know where those shortcuts go. Oh, no. Where was that shortcut? Where was it? I should have adventured that shortcut more to take it back, because it's in that big house where we first saw the snake guys. Which I think is actually... Hold on, hold on. Because that's up now, so we can take that back down. But I think this is actually back here. That house was up at the top of this hill, I think. Hello, sir. Ow, right, you've got the big weapon. I should respect, but I'm not. So... Ow, ow, I forgot he does the flurry with the... Dang. I always forget their combos don't end. Ow. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'm trying to, you know, not respect this guy. And that's just not good. I'm trying to beat him quick to try and make progress faster. But that's not what I should be doing. Because it's not helpful. Like, I just lost four blood echoes, blood vials. Trying to defeat that one guy. And that's trashed here. And I've been doing so well. Right, this guy. I forgot. Hi, sir. Good night, sir. Now, is that house back up here? I really hope it is. I really do hope that house is back up here. Oh, no. It, the house is not back up here. 
because that ha we don't have to go fight that big guy. So I went the wrong way, and that's fine. Going the wrong way is cool. You're al you're allowed to make mistakes. I mean, we can always just go back to the tavern, you know, the tavern, the lantern. We can always just go back to the tavern, you know, whatever. Tavern boys. <laughs> and we'll just go the snake route again, which is fine. I mean, we can always just run through the snake route. The snakes aren't really providing any sort of big chase. Doesn't matter to me, none. So, ah, there's Snakey Boy right there, Snakey McGee. Hi, Snakey McGee. I'm going to sneak up on you. Oh, no. His snakes have great perception. Their perception skill is maxed with proficiency. That's right. And you're going to get... Oh, no, he got me. Oh, no, he didn't get me. Okay. What are you doing, Dinkleberg? What are you doing? I don't know why she just did that. I dodged back, and then I hit the button to switch to my cane or my whip, and then I just did a stupid thing. Like, what the heck? Is this is this the house? Is this it right here? It is. This is it right here. Fantastic. Okay, we found it. We found it, y'all. We found it. Now watch this. Operate device and blammo. It works. Works like a charm. Every day. Works all day, every day. Sir. And I will step on the button, but it will not come up, so I have to step on it again. Haha. -ha. Oh, Nelly boy, Nelly boy. Also, uh, I believe today of this, the recording of this, is the day that Pro Jared is about to hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube. And I was uh, watching his stream of that earlier. So congratulations to Pro Jared. Put up some confetti, some balloons, some cheers. Future me. Jeez, I'm trying to congratulate Pro Jared, sir. I'm trying to congratulate Pro Jared. And what are you doing? You're just being rude. Trying to hurt me. But yeah, congratulations, Pro Jared. I've enjoyed your content for years, and I hope you get more and more support as the years go on. For you, make a wonderful show. I really do miss one-minute reviews. I really do. But I understand why you can't make them anymore, and it sucks. One of me and my cousin's favorite one-minute reviews was the Sonic Boom one. We literally quote that to each other every time we have a visit because it's just so funny. Especially the Danky Kang part. Oh, I love me that Danky Kang part. Hello, Mushroom Dude. The goobity goobles. Ooh, they look undulate. Ooh, Undulations. So we'll see if we can't... Uh... Oh, I don't... If I run... You know what? Maybe I want to be at full health. And maybe I should just run in and be like... Ha ha! Stab. 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 Hey, stab, please. Stab. Stab. There we go. There we go. I did it. It was rough because I couldn't... I didn't lock on. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Nope. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. I tried to lock on first and then charge up, but it didn't do that because... Blood Echoes retrieved. Ah, he had the eyes because he had my Blood Echoes. I forgot about that. I got scared because he had different eyes than the rest. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. And bam. You just walked right to your death. These things, at least the ones that don't have the magic, seem like they are not in control of what they're doing. But maybe we can just end this guy's life before he even knows we're here. And ha ha! Oh, and we get to visceral him to death. Yes! Oh, tasty! And then we'll grab this item, Madman's Knowledge. And then I heard a, I heard like a noise, and I don't know where that came from. It might have been that guy dying. Oh, it could have been this guy too. And giggity goo. I don't like the way they run at me. It's creepy. I don't appreciate it. Madman's Knowledge. Did we literally just find like a dead end? Did we just find a dead end? Can we even get up anywhere over here? What? Really, we just found a dead end with these weird guys. All right, then. That's something cool. Okay. And yeah, because we just found these weird mushroom men in a dead end. I have a feeling that this is like a small outpost where you get to first encounter them before going to their area if you, you know, go this way. Or maybe it's one of those dumb things where we have to get killed by them and they'll take us to their mushroom hideout. Eh, whatever. I hate that. I hate having to die in order to progress. I think it's dumb, and I hate it. Oh, and the Piggy Pig Pig should be back, too. Come here, Piggy Pig. 
I hear you have the blood vials for us. We are running a little low, so we could use some, yeah. Hello, my little piggy pig. Hello. I will slash you in the face. Ow. You will hit me in the... Hit me. Get up, get up, Dinkleberg. Get up. Here we go, and... Here we go. And, hold on, hold on. Nah, that was the wrong button. But here we go. We'll be able to get a nice big stab. And then we'll finish it, hopefully. I said finish it. Finish it. There we are. We finished it. One blood vial. Eh, oh well. There's also those madams in the water underneath that tree. But that is just not something I am willing to put up with right now. Because we have to deal with these ones right here. So, there we go. Slappity slap. And I think these poison as well. So I'm not really that uh, afraid of them. Because I think their breath that they do poisons. Which is fine. I'm not scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Mrs. Dinklebird ain't scared. He's standing in the fire. Haha. -ha. Get burnt. Get burnt by the fire. Yes, get burnt by the fire. The fire is precious. The fire is the cleanser. And I forgot about this lady who just sits in the reeds over in this corner. Hello, madam. Good. Oh, no, I missed. And now she's going to giggity goo grab. Oh, no, I... Nah. I hate when they get too low to the ground. You can't stab them. <laughs> when, they're, when they go prone on the ground, you can't quite stab them, and I don't like it. And I don't want to end the episode here, because that would just be completely no progression whatsoever. So you know what? We're going to go... I know there's a couple guys up to the right, and I just want to double check that that overhang isn't... Uh, sorry, not that overhang, but that cliff that we can go down isn't to a new area. I just want to see if it is actually that one same place than, uh, that we went to earlier. Right? Because, I mean, I would hate to just completely dismiss it as you know, something that we've already been to, and it turns out that's the way to a new area. And we'll just bop you, sir. Get bop head. Get bop rooney skied. Ow. Ow. Sir, I said you were to get bop head, not me. Tempering blood gemstone. Phantasmagorical. So we'll just walk up here. Wait, was there an item in that corner? Because I didn't check this corner last time. And you never know when there's going to be sneaky items. Sneaky, sneaky items. So let us go up to this area, up here where we once were. I believe, yes, okay, so this is a shortcut back to the place where we were, because I believe that is that uh, one snake that is in that corner. So if we find out that we need to go and find a new route and I can't figure out where to go, I'll just drop down that area. But there's no point in dropping down that area if it's just going to make a circle back because then I just have to fight my way back and that's, eh, that's like another three minutes to the episode. I just want to get to somewhere new. I mean, we found those new giggity goo guys, little goobity goos. So we're still heading up, yes? Okay. So wait, no, hold on. So we came in from here, then went up. The way we have not gone is down. Phantasmagorical. So let's go. Let's do it. Oh boy, howdy. Oh boy, howdy. You know what this looks like, right? There's bones everywhere. There's a mist in the air. Yo, I think we're boss boys right now. Yo, Mrs. Tinkleberg. Mrs. D, you think you're up for it? Yeah? Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. What do we got? Shadow of Yarnum. Yo, it's a multi-boss! Yo, get out of here, sir. Y'all don't even... Y'all don't want any of this. I got the whips. Got the whips for days. Ow, he's got fireballs at home. That's not cool. What am I doing with this lungy whip stuff? Get out of here, man. I don't want lungy whip. I just want basic whip. Alright. Maybe I don't even want basic whip. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to kick this guy's butt because he's got fire magic. No, sir. Ah, oh, man, and he's got his brothers there too now. Oh, wow, that sword guy. He's got that big damage. No, sir. You know what? Come on, let's let's dance, sir. Let's dance. You, you want some? You want some? You want some? I will follow you to the ends of the earth. As your brothers also try and help you out. No, sir, I'm not falling for that flamethrower biz. I'm not falling for it. Ow! Fireball, I thought I had outside of its tracking. See, here's the thing. I gotta get out of the radius of the sword guy, right? But then I gotta get back in. But, uh, I also gotta be locked on. 
And it's a little hard, because I'm trying to run, but also I need stamina to be able to dodge out of it. So, let's just dodge. Haha! -ha! No, sir. Because if we can get this fireball guy out, that'll be super clean for us. No, and we also gotta watch out for that flamethrower dude. Because he's a jerk with range, and this sword guy as well. You know what, maybe we should actually start taking out the sword guy. Oh, fireballs. Really? Fireballs and flamethrower? Nope, sorry, not having it. Ain't having any of it. Hmm. There we go, there we go, there we go. No, no sword, haha. -ha. I saw it coming, sir. I saw you. Oh no, I, the gun has a lot of stun. Oh no, they, they go into snake form. They've got snake form. Is he trying to light his sword on fire? I don't appreciate that, sir. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, gotta get out of here. I gotta let him do it. I gotta let him get his sword on fire. Come on, what do you got? Nope, no fireballs for you. Oh, he's got a what? What did he just do to me? What did he just do to me? Oh, he's got snake arms now. And he's just gonna keep snake arming me. Great. The one guy's got swords and snake arms. Fantastic. Can we can we shift to the other boss, please? There we go. Because I need to start beating on this magic guy. There we go. Hopefully kill him. There we go. One out of three down. Come on, boys. Which one of y'all's got that stupid snake face? Or the stupid snake arm? You. I think you both do, actually. Alright, come on. Which actually which one is use lower on health? Hold on. Can we get a nice charge attack in? Bam! Okay, so the sword guy with the flaming sword. He's the lowest of health. Gotta get him. Come on. Oh, yeah, come on. We're doing good. We've got a lot of health. Still got five blood... Oh, only five blood vials, though. Oh, sir! You made the mistake of stepping in Mrs. Tinkleberg's house! Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's one shot, boys. Come on, sir. Come on. Oh, he's got the reach through. He's got that reach through. But you know what? We've got the cane, sir. We've got that thread d -d 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 cane. Come on. No, we press press attack. Oh, no. what is he doing? Whoa, 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 yo, 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 no! I am not having any of that. Do those come back up? Okay, so no, those only he only does they only come out when he does that. All right, so we're gonna have to. Uh, ow! He's got the range too. Gonna have to flurry him. There we go. All right, so we're gonna have to respect him. All right, I don't see any snakes near him, so we're gonna have to get up in on him. Yes, 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 yes. Sir, you are dead. Get bopped. You and your brothers, the Shadows of Yarnum, can get destroyed. Respect to all three of you for putting up a good fight. And look at that, we've got a lantern. So, the Shadow of Yarnum, we're gonna light that lamp and head back to the Hunter's Dream. And you know what? I'm going to do the little bit of leveling up at the end of the episode here again. So if you feel like you don't want to watch that because you've had enough, and you, you know, because I, I, I want to do the leveling up for people who are interested in that. So if you want to keep, you know, if you want to stay here for the leveling up and the extra items, please feel free to stay. If you don't, please feel free to leave the video now. I will not feel bad about it one, at all. But thank you for showing up. I mean, I do appreciate you, you know, being here and watching. It's great. I love you. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, fortify weapon. Or not fortify weapon, repair weapon. Just because I want to make sure our weapons are fully repaired. And we're going to see what that uh, those new runes do. So we have the anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Boosts max stamina by 10%. Ooh, cool. We also got... What was the new one we got? Blood rupture? Visceral attacks restore HP? Oh interesting very interesting we know what the lakes do beast rune you know what maybe we want to uh take off the clear deep sea rune and put that up visceral attacks restore hp yeah let's try that actually did we do we have any of those yet no no all right so let's go ahead and we'll check the insight shop to see if we can purchase any oh no i fell <laughs> oh no let's see if we can check the pur uh the purchase insight shop to see if we can find any other armor sets. Because we just killed the Shadows of Yarnum. Purchase items. So we have Bolt Paper, Resonant Bells. Everything's good there. Bloodstone Shards. Everything's good there. Nope. Nothing new for the Insight Shop. Thanks, little guys. What about you guys here? You guys have anything? 
purchase items. So we've got the hand lantern, yeah, the coins, bold hunter's mark, bone marrow ash, fire paper, pebbles. All right, everything looks good there. Bloodstone shards, ritual blood. We have the tunitra still, rifle spear, Ludwig's holy blade, the kirk hammer, the threaded cane. Yeah, nothing new here. The hunter pistol, the hunter's torch of flame. Yep, everything's the same there. Tomb Prospector stuff, everything the same there. So we don't, we didn't unlock anything for defeating the Shadows of Yarnum. But hey, welcome. What is it? Here? We get a lot of blood echoes, Very and we get a lot, a lot of leveling up. Now here's a little thing. How many do we have? One, two. We have two. We only have two levels up left. I could put one into skill, one into vitality, because that'll put us up over a thousand HP, and it'll also help increase our damage. Our damage will go up by 5, or, no, hold on. Our vitality will boost our physical defense up, and our skill will increase our damage by 2. So why not? Let's do it. There we are. And we've got 18,000 blood echoes left. Do we have any more of those uh, items? Cold blood dues? Do we have any cold blood dues? No, we used all those up, unfortunately. And it uh, looks like we don't need to buy any items. So, thank you all for joining me on this episode of Bloodborne. That was a really good episode, man. We ended it with a ended it with a huge boss battle that we won. First try, boys. So, if you liked the episode, please, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot. And hit like, and you know what, leave a comment. Maybe answer the question of the day, or just anything else that you thought was funny or cool in the video. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I will see you all on the next episode of Bloodborne, here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody.